And so what we have here is a loop calibrator. This specific one is from Miriam. It's the M334 model. Um, Fluke also makes a, a variation of this. But they are, uh, you know, similar in the design as far as their function. Give you a, a closer look here. And of course, we've got the two wires that come off of it. As you can see over here, what I want to go ahead and describe over here is on the left, this is how we get power, or power selection, really. Um, if we're in the source variation, then we're going to utilize the batteries in this loop calibrator as the voltage supply. And this will control the current. If I go down to two-wire transmitter simulate, then we're assuming that the power is coming from an external power supply. Right. Big thing to make sure when using this is that you do not put this into source when hooked up to an external power supply because the voltage of these batteries and the voltage of the external power supply are not going to match and you're more than likely going to cause the batteries inside here to explode. Which I'll go ahead and open up and show you the batteries for this. As you see, it's just four AA batteries. I believe they're all in series. Yes, they appear to be all in series, so you have 1.5 volts times four should be six volts total. All right, so you only have a six volt power supply here which is going to affect things later, uh, so total power requirements. You have the read option, which you can use this to just, just measure current. Right? Think of it as like a multimeter, but with just the function of reading uh, milliamps. Right? It'll also do voltage readings. As you can see up here, this is our selector here. Right now it's in the off position. If I click it over to the milliamp position, it's going to boot up. And right now, because we're not hooked up to anything, no power supply, or there's no complete path for current to flow, it's going to read zero milliamps. I'm in the read section, right? If I go over, to, I can use this as a voltmeter, a very crude voltmeter, but it'll, it'll give me a voltage reading. And again, I want to be in the read. If I go to source, you know, you're not, you're not going to source voltage, but you can source the current. Um, the read, it'll do a voltage and milliamp reading. Now, a lot of times I actually wind up using this as a source. However, do not rely on this to provide um, power to a transmitter or an instrument for very long. So the, the batteries do not last very long, right? When we do that, we're just in the milliamp position. And you do have a fourth option over here, which is percent, 4 to 20 milliamps. And it just gives you percentage of your 4 to 20. If you learned from your 1401 class, you know, we have an elevated zero point of 4 milliamps, and 20 milliamps represents 100. So if I, you know, were to type in right now, you see it says negative 25%. Well, that's referencing the fact that zero milliamps, which is what's occurring right now, is negative 25% of the span of 16 milliamps. If I would actually hook this up to something and get this to read 0%, well, that 0% would mean that I have 4 milliamps, right? I don't use this function often. I, I like to just go straight to the milliamps. And when I say 4 or 20, right, which now I'm going to bring up the, the function of the switch over here, is it has... Obviously, you can see 0% at the bottom and 100% at the top, 4 at the bottom, 20 at the top. And if I hook this up to a power supply, which I'll be doing in the next video, I can click just from 4 straight to 20, and as long as I have sufficient power and it can regulate the current, it should put it right on 4 or right on 20. Now, we also have a dial here, which will function on any one of these three positions, whether I'm at the four, at the middle position, which is called dial, or at the 20 milliamp position, I can use this dial to do, to do uh, finite 
or quick course adjustments and it's based on how fast you move it so if I just go click one click at a time it'll make very very small movements but if I make three clicks very quickly you'll wind up seeing it later right um, and this is just the first video going through talking about the the switches and their functions I'm gonna be making separate videos where I hook this up and demonstrate the use of it